Okay, so we've now made it to the third of these series of uh, videos on the integrals of various powers of the trigonometric function secant. In this one, we're looking at the cube of secant theta d theta and trying to integrate it. Um, to do this, we will, in fact, use uh, the concept of integration by parts. So, um, in this video, we will show how to evaluate this using... Uh, integration by parts. Okay. And um, if you needed to get a little uh, refresher on what that is and how it was derived, I also produced a video on that so you can check that out as well. But uh, just to uh, give the formula for that, that in that video I urged everyone to memorize it says that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v times du. Okay? And so in this particular instance, we're going to let u be secant of theta. And we already know what the derivative of secant is. We did that in the first of these videos on integrals of uh, C powers of secant, uh, namely the first one, the integral of secant of theta, we showed what that is, and it just involves secant of theta times tangent of theta d theta. And so if I do that, so basically what I'm saying is, let's write this integral as um, a secant of theta times secant squared of theta d theta. Okay? And... Um, uh, so if I make this first part be the u, all right, this is the u over there, then uh, the balance of the terms here, I'm going to make these be the uh, dv, which is going to be that term right there, okay? So over here, then I'll say dv is equal to secant squared of theta d theta, and oh, that's very good, because in the last video, we showed what the integral of secant squared of theta d theta is, and so we know what the answer to that is. It's nothing other than tangent of theta. Okay, so if I integrate both sides of dv equals to secant squared theta d theta, v then is just nothing other than tan theta. And so I'm going to apply this formula here, and so this is this may be written, therefore, as simply u times v, which is the product of these two terms. So that's going to be secant theta tan theta minus the integral of um, v. So, okay, we did these two terms, v times du. Okay, so it'll be the product of, the integral of the product of those two terms. So that's going to be um, hmm. secant of theta tan theta times tan theta, that's tan squared theta d theta, all right? And now we have to actually say, well, what is tangent squared of theta? So the way I like to remember doing that is go back to the basics. Uh, we know that sine, so this is kind of on the side here, an aside, that uh, trig identity by trig identity, we know that um, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Uh, and if I were to divide both sides of this by um, uh, cos squared theta, then I'm going to get a tan squared theta. That's because sine squared theta divided by cos squared theta is tan squared theta. Plus cos squared theta divided by cos squared theta, that's 1, is equal to 1 over cos squared theta, we know is secant squared theta. And so I can say, therefore, that tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta minus 1. Okay, And because of this, 
I can then go ahead and sub in this result for 10 squared theta. So I can write this as um, secant theta 10 theta minus the integral of secant theta times 10 squared is secant squared theta minus 1, okay, d theta. And this is equal to secant theta 10 theta minus secant times secant squared is the integral of secant cubed theta. And that's kind of peculiar because that's what we're trying to integrate here. So we'll say a little more about that here in just a sec, d theta. And then minus t uh, secant theta times minus 1 is a plus plus the integral of uh, plus secant theta d theta. Okay. And so we wonder, hmm, are we going in circles here? Not really. And the reason is because, so let's summarize what we have. The integral of secant cubed of theta d theta is what we were after is equal to all this stuff. Okay, So this is equal to secant theta tan theta minus the integral of secant cubed theta d theta and plus the integral of secant theta d theta. We did that in the very first of these uh, videos on secant and so the integral of secant of theta we found to be um, plus, let me just write the result right away, it's plus uh, Nat uh, natural log of the absolute value of secant of theta plus tangent of theta. And then, of course, we picked up some constant of integration. Let me just call that c hat for a second. And now I notice that I have this term here, which is what we were after trying to find. But I've got that term on the right side with a minus, and I've got it on the left side with a plus. So if I move this term over here, I'm actually picking up two of these terms. Okay, so I get two of these terms is equal to secant of theta tangent of theta plus the natural log of secant of theta plus tangent of theta plus some constant of integration, which we're calling c hat momentarily. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because I really want this. This is what we're trying to find out. So if I divide both sides by 2, then I find what I was after. I get that the integral of secant cubed of theta d theta is in fact equal to 1 half secant theta at tangent of theta plus one half the natural log of secant theta plus tangent theta plus one half of c hat I'm just going to call c okay and so lo and behold we have that the integral of secant cubed theta d theta is equal to one half secant theta times tangent theta plus one half natural log of the absolute value of secant theta plus tangent of theta and of course we pick up plus a constant of integration. Okay, so I'll see you in the fourth video where we look to integrate secant to the fourth power. See you in a bit.